Hey guys, totally forgot about this video that I was going to post on Halloween. Let's get into it. All right, so to get this skeletal look started, we are going to take NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, and we are going to carve out our eye sockets with an oval shape with lots of curves and rigid edges. My Taking the same pencil, we are also going to carve out our nose socket into a beautiful teardrop formation. All right, starting with the neck, you're going to take three small squares, put them side by side, as well as going downwards three other times. For starting your tendons, I would draw two lines like this all the way down to the center of your chest. Taking a glycerin based white face paint, you will paint the whole entire face of your skeletal structure. Now, after doing this, it looked very messy to me, so I ended up going over with a sponge and dabbing it out for a more seamless and flawless finish. Taking a small paintbrush and a black glycerin based face paint. This one is from Wolf FX. It is very easy to use, very creamy, and the consistency is very, very smooth. Going over those hollow sockets that we made, we are going to fill them in with this paint. Hollowing out the teardrop socket on the nose, you're also going to put that in with the black Wolf FX glycerin face paint. So my camera totally cut out right after this though, but what I did was add a couple of cracks within the face and then also some squiggles around the eye and down the other eye to make more of a drippy marks. Now to continue with the squiggles around the eye sockets as well as the drip marks down the center of the eye, you are going to take watered, very, very watered down face paint, load it up on the brush as well as push it down onto the face and then blend out with your ring finger. Filling in your lips with the same exact black face paint, you are going to outline and fill them in as well as taking the outer corners of the lips, drawing two lines straight upwards towards your ear, and you're going to connect them at the tip, as well as fill it in with black face paint. Continuing the blending motion of the patting of the ring finger, you're also gonna do the same thing on this side of the mouth. My camera totally cut out again, and I do apologize though, but what I did is I filled the negative spaces with black face paint all on my body, as well as underneath my chin. Now what I'm doing is I am taking my ring finger, blending it out, as well as adding more squiggly marks upwards into my chin. So what I'm doing right now is taking the white face paint again and creating teeth. I was using a bigger brush at first and then ended up switching over to a smaller one because I was able to get more detail in the size of the teeth that I wanted them. But what I'm doing is I'm starting at the top lip as well as the bottom lip and I'm also going upwards into where I made those black sockets going towards the ears. As you can tell, I switched to a smaller detail brush and it made it very, very easy for me to create better teeth looking shapes. So I ended up going back over all the teeth that I had created before with this brush to also 
lighten up the color as well as create more precision in the shape of the teeth. Going back in with the black face paint and a smaller detailed brush, I'm going through the teeth and detailing them a little bit more to create more of the depth and shape of the actual teeth that you would see underneath the skin. with the black face paint and a sponge I am just using the perimeter of my forehead and deepening it up and blending it out now taking three different types of red body paint you're going to just place it in random spots around the eyes the teeth around the nose and the bones as well as really close to the eye socket to make it more bloodier looking. So was I. This is the finished look for my bloody skeleton. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I really am trying to get back into YouTube. So please let me know what you would like to see in the comments down below. Thank you.